Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to yet another amazing video. Before we get started with anything, I wanted to remind you guys to please, please, please like, comment, and I have a little like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. It's only going to help me reach my goal of 100 and then I will be able to do my giveaway. So please don't forget, subscribe, please subscribe, tell your friends, tell your mama, tell your mama's friends, tell everybody, please, please, please. I promise I have amazing content that everybody will enjoy. So as you can tell by the title of this video, this is going to be a highly awaited review slash first impressions. This is going to be me speaking about Fenty Skin. I know that you guys are super excited, as was I. I actually bought these products on the day that everybody who's on the mailing list could purchase them. I purchased them right away, and I received them just a few days ago. But I was waiting to finally be able to make this video. I'm so excited. I want to talk about a few things before I talk about the products themselves. Oh. I am a very come correct when you approach me type of gal, meaning I like to come with facts. So the very first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to read off of the Fenty Skin email that everybody has received on the ingredients. So what's Fenty Skin made of? So the hero ingredients, it's made of Barbados cherry, which is loaded with more vitamin C than an orange. It also helps brighten skin. You can find that in the fat water. Australian lemon myrtle helps reduce surface oil, refines pores. You can find that in the fat water as well. And the Kalahari melon, I'm sorry, Kalahari melon. It's rich in antioxidants and vitamins, helps to hydrate skin. And that you can find it in the hydrovisor. And the last ingredient, which is one of the ingredients that really drew me towards buying this, was the, I'm sorry, is the niacinamide. It helps reduce the look of dark spots. Even skin tone helps fight excessive shine. And that's also in the hydrobite, my skin type. I have combo skin, so I have a lot of dry patches. My dry patches, usually, they're right here on my cheeks. So right here on my cheeks are my dry patches. Everywhere else is oily, especially around my nose. I get super oily, like disgusting oily. So I, my problem areas are definitely around my nose. My T-zone, it's kind of in the middle. Sometimes it's dry, sometimes it's oily. But my problem areas are around my nose and my cheeks. I don't really have acne prone skin. I don't have to use products that are for sensitive skin because I don't have those issues. I get acne, I mean, when I'm under stress as anybody else or when I'm on my period. So it's normal, but I don't have a bunch of acne. I've never suffered from cystic acne. Jumping into the products, I want to talk about them individually. First is up Total Cleanser. So this total cleanser, it says it's Hydra Clean, soft skin without stripping or drying, daily cleanser and makeup remover in one. So I actually used this and I'm going to insert the demo at the end of the video. I did use this for the sake of this video, but I used it last night as well to take off my makeup. And honestly, it took off my makeup nicely. After watching a few of James's videos, none related to Fenty Skin because I purposely have not watched any reviews at all because I don't want to have any bias or have any feelings towards, you know, any feelings of good nor bad towards this product. So this is completely authentic. I don't know what anybody else on the internet is saying about these products. These are my thoughts. Nobody per se persuaded me. I'm not on the PR list. Obviously, I purchased these products with my own money. So like I was saying, I recently came across James's videos and James says, James, if you don't know who James is, he is a skincare God, to be honest with you, he's somebody here on YouTube who reviews basically every skincare product that has ever been created. It, I mean, if you want to know about it, it's on his channel. So, But James was saying that it's always good to double cleanse, especially when you remove makeup. I don't know about you guys, but I've never been a fan of makeup wipes. I think they're extremely bad for the environment. If you watch my intro video, you know how I feel about saving the environment. So... 
makeup wipes are extremely bad on the envi environment and also i feel like you can't just take your makeup off with a makeup wipe and expect your face to be clean like you actually have to go in and clean your face because the product is still on there especially on you know by your hairline the product builds up there like it's nasty so i've never been a fan to use a makeup wipe i have always been a fan of taking my makeup off with a cleanser this after double cleansing all my makeup was off i can say that i didn't have any irritation around the eyes as some products can cause i do feel that this has a fragrance this has an aroma to me it smells good on my skin it doesn't bother me at all like i said i don't have easily irritated skin i don't have sensitive skin so that's not an issue for me but if you are somebody who has acne prone skin somebody whose skin is very sensitive especially to fragrances this might not be for you there is definitely an aroma on the in this it's not bad it smells extremely good it smells clean it smells sweet it smells good but there's definitely a fragrance and i'm going to talk about each price so i believe this retails for around 25 dollars so this cleanser came out to be 21 dollars and 31 cents this is the price of the bundle so if you buy the bundle the three items this is the price that you will pay for this um this is pretty pricey i mean do i think it's bad my first impression of it i like it i don't i cannot say that i love it but i like it it did do a really good job of removing my makeup which as if you don't double cleanse this is not going to remove all your makeup and that's just a fact there's still going to be some residue especially up on the hairline you always want to double cleanse anyways but if you don't double cleanse this is going to you know it's super foamy super lathery lathers nicely i mean yes but you're going to need more than one um wash to remove all your makeup but this is pretty pricey so if you are looking for something that's more pocket friendly this might not be for you also if you have acne prone skin if you have like i said sensitive skin this is not going to be for you to begin with so that's already a factor of why it's not for you you might as well not even waste the 25 dollars that this costs if you're buying it on its own i also checked on the website and it, this is the only product as of yesterday i haven't checked today as of yesterday this is the only product that is sold out so people are gearing more towards the cleanser than the other two products which that says something but this is also a product that has the most fragrance in it but to each is own. moving along to the fat water i just love the name like fat water like girl okay all right, Riri, I see you. So this is the Pore Refining Toner Serum. This is a two-in-one, so it's a serum, and it is a toner. This is great for beginners because if you don't know the difference between toning, serums, if you don't know what the serum is even going to do for you, then this is perfect for you. This is just two-in-one. So you cleanse, you apply your toner slash serum, and then you move on to the next step. I felt this to be pretty sticky when I put it on the skin. Obviously, it dries, but I'm not used to a serum that's that sticky. I might be using the wrong serums. Don't get me wrong. I understand. As far as serums go, I use a lot of vitamin C serums. I started using the Ordinary Serum, but even the Ordinary Serum is not as thick. So that's something to take an account of. It doesn't leave your face like feeling with a... It doesn't leave... A residue feeling on your face or like a globs of product on your face none of that but it is pretty thick once you apply it it says it instantly refines the look of pores reduces the look of dark spots even skin tone and fights shine without stripping skin that is something that I am really excited to see if it does if even my skin tone like I said I don't have problem skin but I do have a lot of dark spots around my upper lip area i do have past acne that i 
pick that you know which left a mark and i feel like i'm having more freckles that are coming out of the woodworks which is weird because my mother has a lot of freckles but i don't have any freckles i have like three on my nose but i have i am seeing more which is something that i'm a little bit concerned about i do love i mean i love freckles don't get me wrong but i want those to be even doubt let's see if this product actually works i am going to be testing out these products for 30 days and i'm going to either make a part two or i'm just simply going to in a vlog just speak on it for a little bit so that's that next well last step this is the hydra visor this bottle is super cool you twist it and it goes up I like it because for traveling, you don't have to worry. Because, you know, lotion, the ones with a little pump, you throw it in your bag and then you come back and it's everywhere. But because this closes, you don't have to worry about it being everywhere. Let me try to... Okay. Oh, also, this is very, very cool. This comes out. So instead of buying the whole, you know, two pieces, when this finishes, you can just buy the little cartridge and just, you know. So... This says here, use every single day, no excuses. Apply before makeup for the ultimate canvas. Active ingredients. There's a few that I can't pronounce here. The purpose is sunscreen, and this definitely smells like a sunscreen. This is a good choice for anybody who is not used to wearing sunscreen. If you're not accustomed to wearing sunscreen every single day this is good for you which is good for me because i before i bought this product i can honestly say that i don't use sunscreen every day or ever only when i go to the beach or when i'm out in the sun but this is a moisturizer and sunscreen in one which is great so my initial thoughts on this when i used it yesterday i felt this is just being being honest i felt like i didn't feel the hydration i didn't feel hydrated ready to take on the day i didn't feel that but when i used it this morning i felt completely different about it i like this moisturizer a lot because at first i mean it's sunscreen you know sunscreen is pretty oily but it went and it was mattifying itself down so it was pretty matte by the time i came here to the studio my studio by the time i came here to the studio and was ready to put my makeup on this was already matte i felt moisturized but it was matte it wasn't like for example the nivea if you've ever used nivea i hate nivea if you've ever used nivea and the blue tin for me that just you're left like a grease ball like you can like somebody just fried something and like slapped it all over your face like i don't like that look but and that's what i thought was gonna happen initially when i put it on this morning i was like oh well, that's a dub, but it's not a dub. Like, this is actually pretty good. So, the, the fat water with the bundle, it came out to be $23.86. The Hydrovisor Invisible SPF Moisturizer came out to be $29.83. So, the Hydrovisor is completely expensive. It's a, it's, this purpose says sunscreen. It doesn't even say hydration and sunscreen it the purpose it literally just says sunscreen this is way too expensive for sunscreen it's extremely expensive i will say that the fat water is 23 dollars okay and that's only it's only 23 dollars if you buy it with a bundle it's more expensive just keep that in mind all of these products they're going to be way more expensive if you're not buying it with the bundle so it's something to also take note of is the whole bundle worth it if you have problem skin but you want to save money should you even buy the bundle no you shouldn't because this product the cleanser because of the fragrance it's got it might break you out it might not but if you're somebody who's weary like you know on the fragrances this is probably not for you but because of the skin type that i have to I me mean, it's you know it's fine so these are expensive these are these will you know these might make a little dent in your wallet in your pocket that's something to take in account hydration do i feel like these products are worth it do i feel like they're gonna make a difference for my skin i can say that under makeup they wear really really nicely like my makeup today it looks 
flawless it usually always you know looks good i'm not gonna lie but i feel like these products under makeup the bomb if they weren't so expensive i feel like more people would be purchasing them and you know or would be more eager to buy them to use them but because they are more expensive than some people you know they're kind of like hold on let me see what youtube is saying let me see what reddit is saying or let me see what the reviews on ulta not ulta the reviews on sephora or fenty or what wherever you can purchase this are saying um the ingredients they're pretty good one of the ingredients that really like swooped me in was the fact that it has niacinamide i might be pronouncing that incorrectly but i'm going to refer back to james again james says that this is a really really good ingredient to have in your skincare which is good now it does have several fruits it has barbados cherry it has hold on let me see it has kalahari melon it has australian lemon myrtle which helps reduce surface oil so it has a lot of good ingredients that i can't say all in all if these weren't so expensive if the total cleanser didn't have fragrance to it i feel like these would be the perfect 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 products for newbies like me but if you you know throw that into the pot and you're stirring it and you're like mm, i don't really know if you're on the fence i probably wouldn't buy these because i don't feel like they're gonna be life-changing i mean the total cleanser might keep me oil free but you know i, I kind of want more from a cleanser than just oil free i don't feel like this is going to be oh my gosh amazing i have it so of course i'm going to keep using it i'm going to definitely update you because in 30 days from now my skin could be more flawless than ever it could be like crystal clear but just right off the bat i don't really have amazing hopes for it but i just wish that she hadn't put so much fragrance in it because i personally know a lot of people who they're gonna be like oh, i mean it's gonna break me out it's gonna break me out which i agree with you it just might i am going to provide you guys with an update in 30 days seeing how i like it how if i notice a difference in my skin key points to take away from this video if you have problem skin acne prone skin even if you have dry skin um if you have dry skin you can get away with using this using these products but if you have if you have problem skin acne prone skin these you might not want to spend the coins or you're just gonna i mean you're just gonna be stuck with a product that's gonna break you out what i wish that fenty skin had which i'm assuming that it's going to come down the line is a good exfoliator i really 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 want to invest in a good exfoliator not something that has well i get facials every month so i'm very in tune with what products i need and for what and you know so my esthetician was telling me that products that have crushed walnuts in them are not good that's basically saying ives that's basically um you want to stay away from those products because those products can actually cause small tears in the skin and my main concern or my main reason behind wanting a good exfoliator is because i feel like i have some texture around it's usually always around my eyebrows so around this little area right here is where i get the most texture and my esthetician was telling me that that is just due to the fact that i don't exfoliate enough so i really wished that she came out with an exfoliator because that's the only thing that's really missing in this line but i'm pretty sure that that's going to come down the line so that is that i hope that you guys enjoy thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like comment and subscribe and also comment down below what you think about my review if you're going to purchase it if you're excited if you're bummed out just let me know thank you bye guys